So, we're back. Uh, I've done quite a few things. I've added in some more post-processing effects, some edge detection, some stepped, ramped lighting, cell-shaded-esque, but it's not really cell-shaded. Uh, I've added in some UI inside the ship. I've added in some weapons outside the ship. Um, I've made some new ships, new space stations. Um, hiding behind there is another asteroid, which you can't see. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, get to it. You can go pew pew now. Yeah, pew pew some barrels onto there, which is fun. Um, you can turn off the power supply. Oops, turn off the power supply, and all the lights go out, and you can sit in the cockpit and try to fire. Nothing happens. Um, turn the power supply back on, but I can go over here and oh, yep, disable. Now it just shoots out of that a bit too quick. Um, <laughs> enable. We've got tractor beams that don't have any targets. We've got a door that leads to space. And yeah, so let's open up that top door and let's try and bring in some. Let's try and bring in some barrels. Pew. Pew. So I have two tractor beams on this ship. Oop. And then they just sort of line it up over the thing and drop them in. You can push them around a bit. Um, you can queue them up as well. So you can go that, and, uh, that one, that one. You can't actually see the queue at the moment, there, but it does exist because I didn't have to hit any more buttons, did I? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> not actually seeing what I had targeted doesn't help. And yep. Kind of overshot it a bit, but yeah, they do that. Um, close the top door. Not that it's super matters. Um, let's leave that. Let's go check out this asteroid, which definitely stands out as a thing. So, the main thing is, you know, barrels in space, that could be a thing. But the main thing was, in theory, mining. Shoot a big rock enough, and then smaller rocks come off. There we go. We've got some chunks of asteroid that like come to a nice nice stop because you know lots of lots of friction in space um, open up top again now there's also another button I've made shift T which uses the ship's sensors which don't have any UI to just grab all the things nearby and add them to the queue for tractor beaming pew, pew. all right we have tractor beamed all all the rocks in all right now Let's go check out this space station. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, all right. Okay, it's a real thing. Now, there is some issue with the colliders. I am aware of it, obviously. Um, but basically, it's a little, there's the, the uh, trigger mesh does not line up properly with the door and the outside of the ship, uh, which means that you can, if you get too close and you're not jumping, you can very much fall through uh, because it thinks you're inside another ship, not in this ship, and gravity takes over, and yep, yep. It, it uh, meshes need to be better. Anyway, this is the start. I've just been playing around with things. Like I made a fountain because I thought, why not? Fountain seems cool. Let's use this old asset, the low poly water asset that I've used in pretty much all my projects for some reason. I didn't make it, but I quite like it. Subtle water. Um, this is a weird particle effect I threw together. Um, these are not assets I have made. Um, this shopkeep I definitely didn't make. Um, but you can talk to me. Talk to shopkeep over there. All right. Um, collected item. Well, collected zero items. Mm, nah. well, these do have physics. <laughs> um, so, the way that I've currently got it set up in my mind, hopefully this, this checks out and making sense. So, I want to have it that when you sell something, uh, you can basically, as long as you can get the thing to the shopkeep. Um, they don't care how you got it. Like if you have it in a tractor beam, if it's too big to fit in your ship, but you can still drag it over, or if you can just nudge it in. Uh, there we go. We go back in the ship. Um, I let's close this door. 
it's dangerous. Um, I want to have it that what there are are drop-off points. And all you have to do, oh, this white line is <laughs> the character, the player. Um, I just want to have it that you just need to get to a drop-off point and dump things out. And then the shopkeep will be like, yo, I totally noticed that you dropped all these things out. Uh, that'll be worth X amount of money, currency, trade. We're probably a bit low. I also need a rear view, <laughs> rear view mirror. Let's get a bit higher. All right. Um, I also probably need some UI to actually indicate where. So you can kind of just tell that there are these points here, and those are other tractor beams. So we just push all these things out into space. Hey, it picks them up. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Too much wow. There you go. Push them out into space. I kind of just want to have a big, big broom. There you go. Get, get out there. There we go. Cues them up internally. Uh, I think some of the destinations are a little bit wacky. Um, oh, yep. All right. Cool. And then they just boop, disappear. But it, it doesn't actually delete them. It sort of just keeps a track of like these are these are the things that have been picked up. Let's close these doors. Close this. That one. Yep. Need some sound effects for that. Now. I mean, the actual layout of the space station could be way better. I kind of, I already started on the space station before I, before I decided that this was a mechanic idea. Come to, all right, now, shopkeep should be all like, hey, you dropped off 10 items, maybe? How many? Nine items, close. Um, yeah, and so now I need to have it as like, okay, sell all those things, great, and get some money, and then, yep, something happens. In theory, that's that's the start of the at least the mining game loop, or even just like when you get loot from uh, from from an enemy or something like that. You get stuff, you pull them into your ship. You can then either do stuff with it inside of your ship, or you can sell it. Um, I kind of wanted to have it that if you were flying around in like the tiny shuttle that's over there, then yeah, again, that you can't actually fit something large into your ship, but it's like, it's all right. As long as you just nudge something into this collection zone, spaceship will pick it up and then you can sell it. So it's not really a matter. So that way you don't have to talk to a shopkeep, go in there, figure out like how things are supposed to get out of your ship. Um, I'm thinking that there would be a nicer way, perhaps, than um, <laughs> pushing things out with your body. I just want a big broom. I want a big space sci-fi broom where you use to shove everything out into space and something else picks it up. Um, but yeah, like this shuttle here, assuming it should have a door, wouldn't really be able to hold much, would it? So, But doesn't mean you couldn't still use it to sell something. Anyway, uh, it's a work in progress. That's why we prototype. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's what I've done. It's coming along. I'm liking it for the most part. Uh, I definitely need, like, I like the pew pew. Ugh, I need the character not in the way. I like the pew pew sound effects. I don't really like the tractor beam sound effects. So, you know, everything's a work in progress. Uh, also, all of this UI, ship UI, like, definitely, like, I kind of want to have, like, some proper things here, maybe some statuses up here, and you can see, like, yep, this thing has been queued up to tractor beam, this thing is an enemy, this thing is whatever, and, you know, have it actually on the HUD here. Um, and then, like, this sort of stuff over here would be, like, potentially more detailed stuff, and it would be, you know, like, I don't, ha I have engine UI as well, but I haven't actually put it up, like, there should be, like, engine UI here, and then you can actually see the engine and do things, like, repair it, tweak it, stuff like that. Anyway, lots to prototype though, because I also, despite all of this, I don't want to make this overly complicated, tedious. I don't want this to be, you know, I want to be like, yeah, you're going on an adventure, you see a rock, you, you want to find out what, you know, what's that rock made of, you know, you can, if, you know, have it where it's like, I don't know what this is, maybe analyze it, something, I don't know. Still working out some of the finer details, but I'm getting, getting there. Um, also, the ship flies a bit slow. Ooh. Anyway, uh, see you in the next one.